Hi, I'm Patty with Studio R12 Stencils, and today I'm going to show you how to take stencils with bleach water and fabric to make fantastic Halloween projects. The best thing about Studio R12 Stencils is the fact that we make things in sizes. So you can choose any size that fits your project. So if I was making a table runner, oh, this would be so fantastic for a table runner. Um, you totally can choose bigger sizes for whatever your project is. And now we are going to be putting, let's see, oh, the corner spider webs. That might be kind of fun. Now what I want to do is I want to mask what I don't want in some areas. And then I've got these wonderful sheets of Mylar that you can purchase from the website. If you have children doing these projects, make sure that you keep them supervised. Um, mind your safety precautions and know that anything that touches your bleach will bleach your stuff. If you haven't seen it, we have a whole collection of bleaching different fabrics um, for different seasons, reasons, and all of that. So check them out in the playlist that we put in the description below. Okay, we're ready to go. So we have a mix of 50-50 bleach water, um, bleach and water. And I've got a good spraying container. Um, you can test different spray containers and test their pattern. I like to go over to the edge of my cardboard and give myself a little spritz until I like what I see. Okay, so now we'll go over here. This should go fast. This, um, this fabric does have a warning on it. Do not use bleach, which means it should respond very well to that. Oh yeah, I already see it. All right, and then we watch the paint dry. I'm gonna wipe back on my mask so it's nice and tidy, and then blot all those beads. And ta-da, that is so eerie and wonderful. Amazing. Look at how cool that looks. Oh, it just looks haunted, doesn't it? Okay, I'm gonna clean that stencil off and I'm gonna continue this. So I think we need another cobweb over in this other corner. And then what we'll do, let's make sure we're dry. I'll lay that across the details. Maybe sometimes you need to sneak in a little piece of tape. No upside down bats today. Spray in the corner. And wait. Okay, let's take a peek. Awesome. Okay, lock that stencil off. I think we'll go in with more of that pattern. So you wanna think about your white space when you're designing a project. So you would take this up so that my stars are tucked around my bat. And then I'm gonna have that bat not be there. So you can go as heavy as you want or as light as you want. It's just your project. And now we have more bats. Okay, and so now, where do we go from here? I think we go with, let's wipe our stencil off completely. The most important thing here is to clean up as you go. So I think we need to just replicate the corner. And go again. Ooh. Okay. I love it. 
Now I'll clean this off and we'll finish this quadrant. Cool, notice that they're getting lighter as they sit and develop. So that is something that we're gonna take into effect before we go ahead and rinse this off. But I think I need to add one more something right there. Like one more big star, I'll go for the big guy. Yeah, two stars. Okay, I see an error. So what do we do about this? I've got this little line there that I leaked under. First, we'll give it a good blot. And then we're going to add some texture. Okay, so we're totally going to texturize the colors, and then I'm going to give him a little stream here and there. And see what that does. Um, what I love about um, bleached fabric is you don't get any of the thickness of paint, so it totally becomes part of your piece of fabric. You are actually altering your fabric, and you are not adding paint or anything to it. You're actually taking away. So um, in just a second, I'm going to show you how to set this so it will stop developing. And um, and I love this. It's so cool. I could see this in a, for a million different reasons. All right, so I'm partially in the sunshine and partially out of the sunshine. And bleach technique loves sunshine. So I'm going to move my cardboard and expose that side to the sun and hope it kind of intensifies just a little bit more quicker. So now it's time to stop the processing of the fabric. So I'm going to take the 50% hydrogen peroxide with water and rinse it out. Okay, I will take you into the studio and show you what it looks like when it's dry. All right, this is how we transform a $1 bandana from the craft store into something spooky and awesome for Halloween. Um, this would be great tied up in your hair, on your purse, um, as a um, table runner, seating, mantelpiece, any of the things. There's so much you could do with something like this. I hope that you give it a try.